Hello and thank you for joining me on Ladies in Tech. Before you go, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any tips or tricks for RS Logix 500. Hello and thank you for joining me on Ladies in Tech. This video is going to be on a retentive timer on. So a retentive timer is different than the TON and the TOF functions and the fact that the timing accumulated value is retained. With the other two timers, as soon as you stop the logic in front of it that caused the time, the accumulated value go back to zero. But with these ones, they actually retain that value. So I'm going to show you how those work. So I'm going to add a couple lines, a couple rungs here, in order to show you the logic. And we're going to get this timer from this tab in RTO. We're going to put that guy in there. I'm going to give this timer a name, and timer is always T4, and I call this one T42. Which I just call 243. And we'll give a description. We'll have, I'm just going to call it four second RTO, retentive timer. And I'm going to have it count milliseconds, and let's have a preset of four seconds, which is 4,000 milliseconds. And let's use our push button in order to um, have it start timing. So I colon zero slash one is our normally open green push button. And let's use an instruction off that timer. We can grab it like that if we want, but uh, what we want is our T4 colon 3 slash DN. We'll use a done bit and we will turn on a light, which is O colon 0 slash 0 is wired to that spot there. Okay, so. While we're here, you know what, I'll show you how to use the timing timer bit, how it's used with this instruction as well. So T4 colon 3 slash TT, we'll use here, and we'll turn on the other light that we have, which is O colon 0 slash 1. Okay, so let's download this program into the controller. We have a Micrologix 1100 Series B. And we're going to go online with that. So I'm going to push the green push button, which is going to be true in front of this timer. So it should start counting. And you can see it starts counting. But oh, look at I let go of the button. You can see that the time is at about a half a second. So 509 milliseconds. It's not done yet, but it retained that value. So let's watch these bits. So this done bit will only come on when the accumulated value meets the preset, the done will be true, so that should turn on the red light. Down here with the T4.3 slash TT, so that's when your timer's timing. So anytime this timer has got an accumulated value from 1 to 4,000, this guy should be on. So when it's actually timing, okay? So let's do that. So right now we should have that green light on. And you can see the green light's on only when I push the button and it's actually timing and we're almost getting at the done spot and when it's done that timer timing bit is now low because it's not timing anymore because it's done the green lights off and now the red lights on and I let go that 4,000 milliseconds so four seconds is still in the accumulated value did not set back to zero so right now physically there's no way I can set that back to zero so we actually have to use another instruction to set that back to zero so I'm going to show you how to do that we're just going to jump offline we're going to add another rung of logic you have to make sure this is red before you can add another rung okay so it knows where you want it so I'm going to use the other push button we have which is a normally closed um, push button so I'm actually going to use my examine if open and I'm going to go I colon zero slash zero which is my black push button which is a normally closed push button and I can see my descriptions off a little bit there let's change that right now so we're gonna just gonna change description and we're gonna call it normally closed black that was just cache memory from other programs I wrote that I had that in that memory spot. So I'm going to put the output here. Instead of putting an output, I'm going to go to my timers and counter, and I'm going to put a reset in here. So this reset that I'm going to put in here is to reset this timer. So I want to make sure I tell it what it needs to reset. So T4 colon 3 is what we're going to reset. So now I'm going to download that, 
and I'll show you how that works. All right, I've downloaded the program, and we can see here I'm just going to push the green push button because when I download the program, there was zero accumulated in it. So I'm going to get back up to 4,000 and just keep an eye on uh, these guys here. And you can see how they work timer timing's on, done's on, timer's off because it's done. And now we've got that 4,000 in there, and we can't get this guide back until this logic becomes true to turn on this output. So we're going to press that black button and it should reset. You can see that timer now, the accumulated value is back to zero. And that's how you reset that. The thing I'm going to show you is how the real life components work. So I'll take a video of the push buttons and the lights working for you. While the timer's timing, the green light will be on. When it's done timing, the red light will come on and the green light will shut off. And nothing else will happen until I reset that timer. So that's a retentive on timer with the timer timing and the done bit. The last thing I'm going to show you is how the enabled bit works. So I'm going to do an online edit here and we'll change this done to the enable to turn on that red light. So you can see that. So I'm going to right click, start wrong edits, change the sky to enable, and go OK. Accept wrong edits. Test edits. Yes, I want to test. And I'm going to assemble those edits. So when I press the green push button, which is normally open, it is enabled. When I let it go, it's not. So the only time that light's going to come on, that red light, is when I press the enable button. So just to sum it up, your RTO is only have it only has an on timing delay. And it has three bits you can use that are associated with the timer, which is your enable bit, your timer timing bit, and your done bit. That's all I have for now for your RTO timer. Please add any questions or comments below. And make sure you subscribe. Next, we're going to go into counters. That's all I have for now for your RTO timer. Please add any questions or comments below. And make sure